Hey everybody, Lance Goyke here. Today I want to discuss the rhomboids, one of your upper back muscles, during the pull-up and the chin-up. Okay, so we're talking about the pull-up, the overhand, and the chin-up, the underhand variation together because the rhomboid function is pretty similar here. It's not changing stuff a whole lot when I do these different variations. The, the, there's two primary functions that the rhomboids are going to help here. So uh, to recap, the <laughs> recap, if you know, <laughs> or just teach you if you don't know, um, the, the shoulder blade is like this little triangle. And this middle part here, if this is my right one, these pointer fingers, that's where my humerus bone comes in. And then it swings down like this. And then my thumbs here in the middle, that's this middle bony part of the uh, shoulder blade. That part is where the rhomboids connect. And then they go to the spine in the middle. And then the spine goes to the next little rhomboid thingy or the uh, medial border of the scapula thingy. And then I have two rhomboids, right? So that's, that's one of them. And if you watched our previous video, we talked about those rhomboids in the row. That's the, the primary thing that's going on there. I'm bringing the shoulder blades back together. Um, now I still do that in the pull up and the chin up. So it's important there, but there's also another piece. So the rhomboids aren't just these straight muscles that pull the, the shoulder blades back together. It would be so simple to explain if it were the case. Um, instead, they're actually, if they're coming together, so I got my right rhomboid here and my left rhomboid here. Um, they come together on the spine and then they actually slope downward. Yeah, I got that right. They slope downward until they hit the shoulder blade. So when they bring the shoulder blades back together, they not only bring them back together, but they also rotate them downward. They rotate the shoulder downward. It looks like this. Okay, so I get this little turn and this little slouching of my shoulders. So that can put some uh, stress on the shoulder joint. If I'm keeping that in a, uh, you know, we talked about this with the lat a little bit. That's kind of what's going on when I keep my shoulder too low while I'm doing my row or my horizontal row. I limit the motion that's occurring at the shoulder and I start to get it from places that I don't want. Mainly, I put too much stress on the joint itself and I'm not moving the shoulder blade, the base that the shoulder sitting in. This is a complicated topic. We're going to keep going. Um, so that downward sloping gets that downward rotation. Now in the pull up and the chin up, it's very necessary. It's totally, totally normal and totally needed. Okay. So as I pull up like this, I don't want to keep my shoulder blades upwardly rotated. I want to use that downward rotation to finish that last piece of my pull down, okay? And so if I get that, um, even though this pull up, this vertical pulling uh, exercise is not a primarily um, retraction kind of exercise, even though the main function of this exercise is not to pull my shoulder blades back together, though I need to do it, it's not the main function. I will still feel the rhomboids because they're helping me with that downward rotation as I pull down. Okay, so I want to feel some of that upper upper back area as I pull down. Okay, and you should feel a little squeeze in between your shoulder blades. And if you're not feeling that you have to think, why am I not feeling that maybe I'm sticking my chest out too far, and I'm trying to get it. Um, trying to get that squeeze from my uh, arching my back instead of from moving my shoulder blades. So the reason I talk about this anatomy is one, because I like it. Um, two, because I think sometimes it helps to be able to picture those things, because then once you understand the movements that are occurring and the muscles that are involved, then you can kind of shoot for, you know, what am I trying to feel? Oh, I need to get that little downward rotation at the bottom there. Oh yeah, now I now I can feel a little bit of those 
rhomboid muscles turning on during my pull up and my chin up. Hopefully that makes sense. Hopefully that helps you out. If it doesn't, feel free to keep your thoughts to yourself. But if it does help you out, leave a comment below. Thank you.